Over the past year and a half, I've been not so secretly working on a Twitch integration bot that lets chat interact with a little game called Hearts of Iron 4. They can add or remove things like stability, manpower, or change the name and color of a country. It's produced some interesting results, with this video being no exception. You see, this stream was recorded during Charles III's coronation. So to celebrate, I added a special option that let chat add Charles to my nation and, I suppose, other nations. My ultimate goal was to unite the Empire through Federation and to win World War II as the Charles faction. You know, fix bugs, introduce bugs, maybe, but... It's, it's like inherently like an unstable process, what we're doing. There you go, we got the German Republic. Okay, oh, we have a uh, door, but no, yeah, unfortunately you hit uh, Transylvania. I mean, does Hungary want it back now? Yeah. Oh, France is back and they are red this time. You're, oh, adding XP, thank you. So we got a new hat today. Uh, yeah, and so this is gonna be the hat going forward. So there you go, guys. All right, so we got navy blue. We got the other blue for the Soviets. All right, it's looking good. I'm liking all these colors in Europe. Uh, normally, you guys will like spam one color for everything and then make me that color and then I can't see anything. Oh, uh, this is in Mexico. Ooh, that's like right on the border. America would not be impressed. So Ukraine requests the, the sale of pla uh, planes. All right, so they're gonna gain Yugoslavian air purchase. Okay, that makes sense. I'm not I'm not complaining. All right, so they got autonomy. We're gonna do the conference. Are you sure it's Yugoslavia? Because I'm pretty sure it says Ukraine here. This is Yugoslavia up here, everyone knows. Yeah, this is like, uh, of course, Yugoslavia is always historically between Germany and the Soviet Union. Like everyone knows that. Poland, uh, is there a country called Poland? I don't think there is even a country called Poland. Like yeah, Poland doesn't exist, does it? All right, Imperial Conference. So the uh, Polish Imperial Conference. All right, so there is some decisions here we wanna do. I can't remember, do we discuss Federation right away? Ooh, there was something flashing there, that's not great. All right, what we're actually gonna do is I'm worried that we're not gonna have the relations for this. We're gonna improve relations. We're gonna improve relations. We're gonna improve relations. Can you imagine if India joined the conference? Or they, they, they probably won't. I don't think that's possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go straight to discussing Federation. Uh, we're gonna spend a tremendous amount and hope for the best. Okay, they accept. Australia accepts. South Africa accepts. New Zealand accepts. <gasps> Fog. I, I feel like that was never an option. Completely a success. But we're only going to be doing uh, this. So who's who's got the biggest? You can get India, bruh. So they're going up. I'm going to build it in South Africa. And I shouldn't do accents. I really shouldn't do accents. Hey guys, you guys want some Lendleys? We do a monthly 100. Yeah. Yeah, Canada, or South Africa's up there in, in the north, and this is Canada. Uh, Japan is in the process of uniting its empire. South Africa's going down. Australia is going down. So we need we need like a bunch of like stuff for it, right? It's got to be uh, integrated puppet for all of them. Yeah. Uh, and do we have a we do have a, we need to guarantee the independence of Yugoslavia as Japan? Okay. And so uh, yeah, as the Shanxi Republic, the Czechs are on their own. Sorry, the French are on their own, not the Czechs. Uh, the question of Ukraine. Should we send a special re re uh, representative? I think so. Goa? Oh no. Ooh. I mean, they should have given it back, given it, given it back to India. I don't know. Manpower? Oh, are we removing manpower? Dude, bro, bro. All right, so 50,000. You guys are going for the, the nukes today. All right, three of them. Kamchaka, okay, that's it. Uh, we're Okay, so we're pausing. Pausing in the middle of a nuke. All right, so. Ignore my build, ignore my build, but we need to do a couple things. First off, I have to do allow Diplo. So I'm dismantling my faction. We are uh, creating a faction and this one is called Charles. Okay, going forward, we're the dawn of Charles. So what, what, why are we doing, why are we doing Charles? Now what this will do is it'll add Charles. I click this button and you'll notice that we now have Charles. You'll also notice that uh, Charles is in Charles. So if you add a country, that country will join our faction. And it, it does take a little second, but you will now notice that Holland is in. Now you you you, you do do you you are doing Germany. I was slightly worried about this. Uh, this is why we're doing this at the war. So I'm gonna go down and we're gonna take a look at the world of Charles. Now this is kind of odd. I'm sorry. I meant to actually declare war. That that was salt. That was the solution to my problem. Okay, so we we, we got you know, like there would this the, this would have been a test stream for a new feature. Uh, yeah, so we've added some new countries to Charles. You're immediately all going for it. I don't know why Yugoslavia won't join Charles, but uh, yeah. Uh, and I can also just call in everyone into the, the thing. I was hoping that this would be a little bit longer. What I might actually do is I'm going to take over to Germany because it, it's clear, clear that this is going to be very quick. And we're going to add a little bit of a challenge. So I don't know. That's 100 million manpower. Let's just give them 5,000 planes and tanks uh, and convoys. 
and, and, and I'm just gonna give them a bunch of PP. Otherwise, this, this game's gonna be over real quick. So, okay, so we got some more. We got uh, the Philippines, is that it to Charles? All right, so who's not in Charles at the moment? We have, sorry, phrasing. Uh, I'm not seeing the United States. Oh, I am seeing the United States there. Thank you. Get Charles in. Charles is now the leader of the US. Charles is the leader of the United Kingdom. Charles is the leader of Ukraine and Russia. We've got a democratic Trotskyist, uh, Charles, <laughs> leader of the Russian Federation, which they're, they're, they're communist, but they're democratic. I don't know. It's something. <laughs> Anyways, uh, war support. Oh, thanks, Onion Duck. That's exactly what I needed in this moment. I'm not gonna annex Malaysia, it's not really worth it. Oh my God, the, why Onion Duck? Dude, it's uh, 71 to 16, cool. Um, that's not gonna screw up my country. May have made them a little too strong, not too sure yet. Uh, we're about to lose the, the Charles of France which is uh, historically the, the capital was uh, Amsterdam. Yeah, France is exiled. Uh, I don't actually know, w would Japan join us? Japan has joined us and we are now at war with uh, the Chinese United Front. So let's call all to that. Cool. So yeah, now the world is getting more and more Charles. It is very leggy guys. It is leggy on my end. <laughs> I can feel it. Like, you, you know, you know when it gets like that, like you get to the end of the game and it's like 1946 and you're like, mm -hmm. We got a few divisions moving a boot. Yeah, come on in. Can I can I call you all in? It's not the Carlists, it's the Charlists. <laughs> we got a really beefy Jimmy. <laughs> They're gonna ooh, ooh. I think we're just gonna go a little Drew Drenell mode. If I click things, it seems to be a bit unstable. <laughs> Tuba is uh the last member of the common turn. With Charles and Charles, that is a new flag. I've never seen that one. It is switching them to democratic, which is I guess we have a democratic Japan. Oh no! Bhutan, hold on. Ooh, I might have created a monster. Oh my God, <laughs> what have we done? Why are we here? <laughs> the infinite manpower Germany, turns out, is very strong. I will go up on air to try to challenge their air because I look at the air map. Yeah, that's a, that's expected. They, they have 5,000 planes. So uh, it looks like a 46 map. Yeah, except it doesn't because it's Charles and we're in charge. Like deep down, I'm just like, we need to start this new game. Set it to better steal the confuse. I, I could, probably could. It'll say you need a mod uh, and it will play. It will play without the mod, but um, yeah, I think I think he would know immediately. Mexican wants entry into Charles. Should we let Mexico enter Charles? Is that a, oh, oh, get it circle Germany. Oh, this is what happens when Charles is in charge. And let's go. All right, we got one for Brazil. Charles has been deposed. Did we, who, where was he deposed? Oh, was that in Italy? Was, was Italian Charles deposed and replaced with uh, Ethiopian Charles? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. I honestly couldn't tell you how this happened. Did someone make, did you guys make them Ethiopia? All right, they fracture into civil war. Okay, uh, we are starting to get air supremacy. Okay, so it's Ukraine. Okay, so now they're the socialist Italian Republic. Don't crash. Okay, Imperial Federation. Rise of the Commonwealths. Yeah, let's go. Oh, they're in the call. Nice. So you, you do get I India uh, as part of it, but you don't get, they don't become core, right? Yeah, they're occupied states. Charles in charge of my planes. Uh, I've got planes. The Mark One. I kind of, I want to make the, the model a bit. Did Germany, Germany naval invaded Nova Scotia. Okay. Yeah, that's fun. Would uh, take over. Ooh. Yeah, of course. Sorry. It's Israel is at war with everyone. Yep. It's Israel going on a rampage. Of course, Israel's capital being Berlin, right? And the capital er, and the leader. Of, oh God, what did this happen? When was it always a Charles civil war? All right, we're getting green air now. Ooh, there we go. There's some exchanges. There we go. Them are some exchanges. Yeah, bud, like 30 to one. Yeah, so we've lost a 1300, but we've killed the 5K. And I think that's about the 5K that, well, I mean, we did spawn in 5K, right? For them. The, the bot is in a natural state for Hoi4 and it doesn't like it. It really doesn't like it. Just take it, take the last BP. You guys can retire after this. You can retire after this, all right? I will delete your divisions and go home. I just need you to take this city and maybe this city if it doesn't cap. I'm gonna make you do it, just go. They're taking 14 damage. There's China, don't care, go for it. All right, I promised it. You guys get to retire, go home. But we've got pretty much all of this, except for Xinjiang and of course, Germany. 
the German Republic, isn't doing so hot. Like we've got a billion units on their borders. I don't know where all my units are. All right, so we'll click here and then here and then here. And then maybe that'll give us three. Can we see what's going on? No. Do we want to know what's going on? I mean, it would be great, but we're not gonna. Oh my God, guys, we have five stability. We have five stability. It's a miracle. Uh, government. Oh, we can get it. Let's just go a little communist. Nice, eight stability. Strikes, oh no. Anyways, I mean, if I could see the units that I'm actually attacking, that might be something, you know? Something for, I'll, I'll put the save up at the end of the game uh, on the Discord if you guys want to play this. No, I knew it. 